everybody. So today we have another book. This book is called Gilbert Goldfish Wants a Pet. Written by Kelly DiPuccio and illustrated by Bob Shea. While we're reading this story, your job is to be thinking about the characters, the setting, the problem, and the solution. Do we remember what all those are? Why don't we do our movements quickly before we get started? So, the characters, personajes, who is the story about? Then we have setting and scenario. Where does the story take place? When does the story take place? Events, acontecimientos, the problem, and the solution. So those are all the different elements to our story. Let's start reading. Gilbert Goldfish wants a pet. To any outsider, Gilbert had everything a goldfish could ever want. A magnificent stone castle, a treasure chest full of gold, and a tasty feast of tasty flakes that fell from the sky just in time for breakfast each day. But there one thing Gilbert did not have was the very thing he most desperately wanted. A pet. Sometimes he imagined his pet would be small, sometimes big, Sometimes really big. Sometimes Gilbert imagined his pet would have fur or feathers or floppy ears. But every day and always Gilbert imagined what it would be like to have a pet to care for and love. Then, one day, Gilbert woke up to find a dog barking at him. Bark, bark, bark! Gilbert blinked his eyes to make sure he wasn't dreaming. The dog wagged his tail and licked the bowl. swam around and around in happy circles. The dog ran around and around in happy circles too. A pet, Gilbert gulped. I have a pet! The dog barked and barked and barked some more. Gilbert never dreamed his pet would be so noisy or thirsty. Uh oh. A week passed. A very tired Gilbert woke up and the barky bark dog was gone. Whew. The castle was quiet again. Gilbert was just a teensy bit relieved. A few days later, Gilbert noticed a small gray mouse peering at him through the glass. Gilbert's little fishy heart went pitter patter swish. The mouse licked her paws and sniffed the bowl. Gilbert swam around and around in happy circles. The mouse who thought Gilbert was a large chunk of cheddar ran around in circles too. A pet, Gilbert gulped happily. I have a quiet pet. Squeak, squeak, squeak. You think this pet's gonna work out? I sure hope so. 
The mouse sniffed and sniffed and sniffed some more. When the hungry mouse determined that Gilbert was not, in fact, a block of cheese, she ran away. She never came back. Gilbert's little fishy heart went pitter, patter, plop. Poor Gilbert. More time passed and Gilbert had just about given up on his dream when a fly landed on the rim of his bowl. Well, hello there, little fellow. Gilbert called out cheerfully. The startled fly buzzed around in circles. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Gilbert jumped up and the wide-eyed fly was there to greet him in midair. A pet, Gilbert gulped. I have a friendly. Oh my. Poor fly and poor Gilbert. He cried enough tears to fill a 10 gallon aquarium. Poor Gilbert. The fly didn't work as a pet either. Oh no. In the morning, Gilbert opened his eyes. Somebody was watching him. Gilbert gulped. Somebody flicked its long tail and wiry whiskers. Gilbert cautiously swam around and around in circles. Somebody followed. Who do you think that somebody is? Hmm, what does it look like? Uh -oh. Gilbert jumped and somebody jumped too. Hmm, Gilbert thought, eyeing the curious new creature before him. Not too loud, not too rude, and not too squished. A pet, Gilbert gulped, I have the perfect pet. You look kind of hungry, Gilbert said. Would you like to join me for breakfast? The creature moved closer and closer and closer and then it took a big bite of a delicious green flake the pink ones are really good too gilbert said and with a smile would you like to sh would you like me to show you around the castle what's gilbert's new pet a catfish Good thing catfish don't eat other fish. Now, Gilbert really does have everything a goldfish could ever want, including a pet, Fluffy. The end. Gilbert is another great story. So please take out your packets so we can talk about the story elements. Let me get mine. Here we go. Okay. So as always at the top of our page, we're gonna write our name. Miss Nicole. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better. Hold on. Uh, let's see. There, that looks better. Oop, sorry. There we go. Okay. So now, we're gonna start by talking about the characters. So, who are the characters in Gilbert Goldfish? There are a few. Let's see if we can remember them all. Hmm. We have Gilbert. What was the first pet that came? The barky bark dog, the dog, that's right. Then what was next? 
Something that thought he was cheddar. Oh, the mouse? Then let's see, after the mouse, it was the fly. And then his brand new pet, the catfish. So we have five characters. Are you ready to write them all? Okay. Characters, we have Gilbert. And I know how to write Gilbert because it's on the title of your story right here at the top. So we have Gilbert. We have the dog. D -d 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 Oh, dog. We have the mouse. Mm, ow. I know ow. Oh, and you make the ow sound. Ow. Mouse. Gilbert the dog. Mouse. Oh, the fly. Fly. And who was the last one? Oh, that. Right, the catfish. So let's write catfish. At fish. Ish. Catfish. So now you can go ahead and pause your video and you can do your illustration of all the characters in the story. All right. Now we're going to talk about the setting. So where were they? Let's see. Hmm. Where's Gilbert? Okay, Gilbert's in his fishbowl. And where's his fishbowl? Does his fishbowl go from like the store to the house to the school? Where is his fishbowl? At home. So we're going to write his fishbowl and at his house. So let's see. Fishbowl. Let's see. Ish oh fish bowl hmm and house house is a two G power words. Some of you know your two G power words already, which is great. And then if not, that's okay. We're working on it. House, let's see. Ow. Oh, we have that ow sound again. I know that's O and U. House. House. So now, again, you're going to pause your video so you can draw your illustrations. All right, now that you're done with your characters and your setting, you are going to do your problem and solution. So please start by writing your name again. First and last name. the rain cloud is there to help us remember the problem. What's the problem in the story? What does Gilbert most desperately want? A pet. That's right. So, we're going to write Gilbert wants a pet. That's the problem. He wants one and they're just not working out. So let's see. Gilbert Wants, <gasps> want is a power word. I know how to spell want. Don't forget to use your finger space when writing. It's a new word, so we're gonna put a space space. Gilbert wants a another power word. Why there's so, this is why they're so important. Uh, Gilbert wants a pet. All right, now we have to sound out the word pet. So let's see. <gasps> eh. So you can go ahead and pause your video and you're going to draw a picture of Gilbert wanting his pet. Now that you're done, we're going to write about the solution. What's the solution of the story? How does this get solved? He tries, let's see, he tries the dog, that doesn't work. He tries the mouse, that doesn't work. He tries the fly, that doesn't work. How does he solve this problem? That's right. 
He keeps trying and finally he gets a new pet. He gets the catfish. So, hmm, what would we say the solution is? We could say the solution is Gilbert waited and he tried new pets until he got his catfish. So let's see, we have a lot of writing to do, are you ready? <laughs> okay, so let's see, Gilbert Tried. Gilbert tried. Tried. Gilbert tried. Out. Some animals. Gilbert tried. Out. Out. Out is a power word. Gilbert tried out some finger space. Um, some animals is another power word. Actually, so is some. Gilbert tried out some animals. Tried out some animals until he found the perfect pet. Until he got his catfish. Um, so until another finger space. Until he got. to say exactly that, but it should be somewhere along those lines. All right, so <laughs> now that we've written about our, the story elements for Gilbert, you are gonna now share this with a family member. You can share it with a sister, a brother, mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, whoever's home. You can share the problem, the solution, the characters, and the setting. When you're done with all of this, please send to Miss Nicole so I can take a look.